Hi there, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up your Word document so that only parts of the document remain editable once you've protected it. So your first step once you've opened the document is to go to the review tab on your ribbon and then go over to the restrict editing button. Click on that and you get the restrict editing task pane. In section two of this task pane, there's a little checkbox which allows only certain types of editing. Make sure that's checked. And then in the drop down list that relates to this option, you leave the default no changes read only. There are four options in there track changes, comments, filling in forms, but we need to leave the default no changes read only. Next thing you do is you select the areas of the document that you want to remain editable. So it could be paragraphs, words, or sentences. Once you've selected the first, say, sentence, to select subsequent paragraphs or sentences that are non-contiguous, you hold down control. So I'm holding down control, and I'm going to select my next sentence, and I'll just do one more. So those are the three areas of the document that I want to remain editable. Once I've selected those areas, all I need to do is check this checkbox next to everyone, which means that everyone who opens this document can edit those parts of the document. If you need to be more specific in terms of who can edit the document, you need to go to the More Users link. And in this dialog box, you would list all the users on your work network that you want to be able to edit this document. Edit only the parts that you've selected. If you have multiple users that you want to include in this list, separate those names with a semicolon. I'm just going to cancel out of that. Now we're ready to start enforcing protection. So all I do is click on this Yes, Start Enforcing Protection button and you're prompted to enter a password. We're not going to do that here, but it will be a good idea in a real situation that you did enter a password. I'm going to click on OK. Now you can see on my Word document, Word is clearly identified for me or for any other users, which areas I can edit. I've got square brackets and yellow background behind the text. If you're in a very large document and you want to easily skip to areas that you can edit, use this button here, find next region I can edit. If you need to stop protection, that's pretty easy. You've just got a stop protection button down here. And that's pretty much all I need to tell you. Thanks very much for listening and hopefully that's been helpful.